All right, this section is about improper integrals. So let me tell you what those are. Um, there are basically two types of improper integrals that we're going to deal with. Uh, one is an integral where you're integrating over an infinite interval. <laughs> and the other type is where you're integrating a discontinuous function. <laughs> So let me give some examples of different kinds of integrals and we'll talk about whether they're proper or improper. So for example, this thing, although this function is not continuous at x equals one half, uh, one half is not in this interval, so this is perfectly fine. It's continuous in the range one to two, so this is proper. And you just integrate this like normal. But if we change the interval, we go zero to one instead. Now the function has a discontinuity at x equals one half because 2 times 1 half minus 1 equals 0. Uh, this one is improper. So this falls under this category. Well, infinite interval is kind of self-explanatory, but So here's an integral on an infinite integral, infinite interval, and any of these is automatically improper. And so it falls into this category. One more example. Something like this. Um, natural log is not continuous at zero, so natural log of x minus one is not continuous when x equals one. <laughs> so this is so improper. and it falls under this category. So now let me give some examples of uh, how we deal with these things. So this has an infinite in interval that we're integrating over, so it's certainly improper. <laughs> uh, we don't have to worry about any discontinuities because this is discontinuous when x equals 5 over 2, and that's not in this interval. But by definition, something like this is equal to a certain limit. So it's the limit as t goes to negative infinity of the integral from t to zero. And this, this integral will be convergent if this limit converges. It'll be divergent if the limit diverges. <laughs> so this all rests on the properties of this, so let's just integrate this separately. Uh, this is 1 over 2x minus 5, so if you think through it, an antiderivative of that is natural log absolute value 2x minus 5, and we're integrating from t to 0. So I 
plug in zero, I get natural log of five. Whoops, I should have divided by two here. And I subtract what I get when I plug in t, which is 2t minus 5 over 2. And now we have to ask, does the limit of this, as t goes to negative infinity, exist? Well, let's see, this is just a number, so there's no problem there. As t goes to negative infinity, this inside is going to negative infinity. We're taking its absolute value, so it's going to infinity. Natural log of something going to infinity goes to infinity. And we're taking negative of something going to infinity. So this goes to negative infinity, if you kept track of all of, uh, the swappings of negative signs. And saying something goes to negative infinity is just another way of saying that it diverges in a certain sense. So the original improper integral is divergent. 